stippling it. Yeah, that's a so technique called stippling. I'm just sort of pushing it into. Yeah, because on a very rough surface, it's difficult to just see when I just paint. See how much it misses. So you, you come back and you just sort of your stippling is pushing it into the grain of that brick of that brick and the mortar there, and it just helps you get good proper coverage. It takes a little time to do this, but... But oh my God, it just saves you so much later on, man. Yeah, if you have a... <clears throat> if you touch that brick with any paint or stain, um, you're hardly likely to get it out, and it's going to be stained forever. Good insurance. I, mean, I don't care what kind of tape you're using red tape blue tape whatever no tape is going to stick to this surface i'm painting right now i guarantee you that well, put my dabs outside here my dabs grab that paper All right, there you go. The wind out here is blowing about at least 15, 20 miles an hour, and it's not ripping that paper off that wall, even with this. doesn't matter man boom boom you know that that's gonna peel right off it doesn't matter if you drip it spill it it's coming off thanks let's go okay now that we have field tech the brick we've applied our paper it's time to shoot the trim the field tech is not dry yet but that's okay you can go ahead and shoot your paint. Just allow the peel tech and paper to remain for a day and you can peel it at a later at a later time. Because you want the peel tech to dry before you peel it. But you don't have to wait for it to dry before you before you either paint. way. Either way, dry so or not. Either way, doesn't matter. 